Hi, my dear friends, welcome back to our course. In this session, the first session, we're going to learn all about buttons and how to use them, how to style them and everything else. So this was our canvas that we made in the previous session. And this was the level that we made it at. So let's go inside that level and let's start creating some buttons. The first one that we're going to create is going to be the start button. And if we click on the start button, we should go inside the other level, the main level and be able to navigate throughout the project. So let's just start with that button. I'm going to drag a simple button here. OK, I'm going to change the size and it's not going to be perfect just yet because we're going to work on the styling in a little bit. So don't worry about how it looks. As I said, I'm not going to go into the details panel just yet or link anything to it. So let's just move on this is our button I'm gonna need a text box and I put the text box onto the button and if you look at the hierarchy you can see that the text box is a child to the button element okay so the button element is a parent the hierarchies are very useful so right now the text box is a child to the button element okay so I can change the text block uh, text into start in all caps like I said, this is going to be the start button. OK, I'm going to type start here. All right. And let me just change the font, make it a little bit bigger, maybe 35. That's a good size. OK, and now let me just resize it, make it a little bit smaller. And if I were to change the location of the button, move it around on the canvas, the text box will move with it because it's a child in terms of hierarchies to the button okay and we should put an anchor for the start button maybe bottom left corner so that if we were to resize the canvas the start button would be placed there and not change its placement okay you can put it in the center as well but i'm going to choose bottom left all right now before we move any further let me do a quick save and compile and if i go to the game mode let me just make this window a little bit bigger and now if I hover over the button you can see that the color of the button changes okay we're gonna talk about that too so right now we can just move on and go into the styling of the button and make this look how we want it to so I select the button go to the details panel and I'm gonna go to appearances and start with normal so normal is usually responsible for the background color of the button or the image that we are going to use for the background of the button when we are not hovering our mouse over it. OK, so I can choose a color here, for example, black or any other color for that matter. I'm going to choose black. And if I'm interested to use an image, I can choose an image. And right now I chose an image, but you cannot see it because I need to check the inherit box over here for it to take effect. So if I were to check this uh, checkbox here, inherit, instead of the tense color, I get this image. Okay. So right now you are seeing the image implemented on my button. Okay. And when I hover over it, it changes to another color. So it becomes a matter of preference whether you want to use a color or an image or anything for that matter for your background in your button. OK, so right now we are uh, working with the normal and overall uh, styling the button. Later on, we will give a command to it to open something for us, but we'll get to it in a bit. Now, if you are interested in downloading custom made buttons and using it in your work, you can always do that. You can go to websites like freepick.com and find a PNG uh, file of a button which is free and download it and use it in your work. There are other websites that you can do the same thing with. Uh, I'm going to try to show you a couple PNG egg probably. And in generally, if you just Google it, you will find good results. And if they are free, you can just use it in your work. Make sure that they are PNG and they don't have any background. So. I downloaded one and I'm going to crop it inside Photoshop right now because I'm going to need one of the buttons, not all of them. OK, so I'm going to drag the file into Photoshop. And I'm going to crop this button here. OK, 
so I'm gonna use this one I'm gonna crop it real quick and save it onto itself okay this is the one that I want now it's ready I save it and now I need to import it into Unreal Engine and start working with it okay. now before I do that I'm gonna create a new folder for my pictures so that everything is in one place and ready okay so this is the folder inside it I'm gonna do a right click and import image and I'm gonna select the photo that I just cropped this button this red button here I'm gonna rename it into B1 for example okay and everything's ready I'm gonna select the button and go to the details panel and instead of the image that we worked with before I'm gonna select the new one there okay now I can just resize it, change the placement of the text on the button so that it looks better. Okay, so let me just move the text to the left and for that I need to go to the details panel. We have an option called slot or button slot. It's over here, there. And I can choose left and it will automatically put the text to the left. Okay, looks a lot better now. Now, if you look closely, there are some shadows underneath the start button, but I need more shadows for it to look better and pop out more. So for that to happen, I'm going to go back into Photoshop. I'm going to crop the image from further away, make it a little bit bigger so that we are seeing all the shadows completely. OK, so I'm going to use this one. I'm talking about these shadows. I'm gonna replace this new one with the previous one okay I'm gonna paste it here and I'm gonna rename it B2 and then I'm gonna replace it there as well okay the new image is ready and we can see more surrounding shadows this time now what I want to do is to just move this to start uh, text a little bit to the right so that it pl it is placed where it should be I can go to padding and tamper with these numbers until the text is where I want it to be okay so I'm going to try out different numbers here for left and right so that I'm happy with where the text box is placed okay so a little bit to the right I'm not going to take the time so we're going to come back with it fixed okay so the next thing that i want to talk about is this outline that you see here and it's very visible and we need to get rid of it and why does this happen it's because we haven't told unreal that this is an image and we don't need the rounded box around it so what we need to do is to go to this option called draw as and tell unreal that instead of a rounded box you know we have an image if we put it on a none for example the image disappears as well and we don't have any image but we have an image it's an image of a button and we need to select the image here so that we get rid of that rounded box outline okay so we got rid of the outline and with that we conclude the styling of the uh, normal under normal which is basically for the button before we hover our mouse over it what happens when we hover our mouse over the button that we can control under hovered okay so if we go to hovered and open it we get the same controls but this time for when our mouse is hovering over the button I change the color so this time if I hover over it it's gonna be red like so and when I move my mouse away it's gonna be the image button that we used in normal like I said, we pretty much have the same controls under hovered as well, but what happens if I change this draw as to none? Okay, when we hover the mouse, if you go to the game mode, you can see that it disappears, the image of the button disappears, okay? All right, now you tell me, what should I do if I want the image of the button to appear when the mouse is hovering the button, okay? What should I put the draw as on? All right it's the same image that I used for my normal okay so I go to hovered and choose the image the same image that I used for my normal is this one 
and now what I need to do is to go to the option called draw as and choose image because we want the same image to appear when we are hovering the mouse over it so let me just save and go back see when I am hovering the mouse we are seeing the same image and nothing really happens it doesn't disappear nor does it make any changes to the button all right so what's next well what happens when we click on the button okay let's see that so when I when I'm clicking on the button you can see that we get this gray box and if we go back to the details panel we can see that we have another option called pressed which basically deals with what happens when we are clicking on it and we can say choose the same image okay and we go to draw as and choose image and now if I go to game mode nothing happens when I'm clicking on it except for the opacity to change a little which just indicates that I'm pressing the start button okay I'm clicking on it so pretty straightforward so far and what we can do next is to just add sounds to when we are pressing the button clicking on this image or maybe when we are hovering over it and for that to happen we need to go to the two options called pressed sound and hovered sound okay so they are over here and we can choose two different sound clips to be played when we are hovering the mouse over the button or when we are clicking on it let's go and see what we have inside Unreal let's see we have this gunshot sound here okay we can choose this for our test and we can just go back to the play mode All right, now you may want to use your own sound and that's very easy. You can just go to internet and go to Google, search for it, click sounds, for example, inside Google and find a website with some uh, free samples and download a sound file and use it for your uh, project. That's what I'm going to do right now. Let me just test out a few of these uh, sound clips so that I can just download one like this one okay and the only thing that you need to take into account is that you need wav files so if they are mp3 files you need to convert them online or offline so that you have a wav file let me just place it where i want it to be okay i'm gonna put it here now i have access to it i know where it is okay it's a wav file it's ready to be used all right now i need to go back to unreal engine and import and use it Again, if you don't have any offline media converter, you can just search it online in Google. Search for offline MP3 to WAV converter and you'll find a lot of online websites that will just easily do it for you. All right, now inside my content browser, I do a right click, import, and then I'm gonna select this sound. I'm gonna rename it into S01, okay? And all I have to do is to go, just go to the pressed sound and search for it s01 select it all right it's ready let's try it and just like that we added our own sound to the button okay all right now we kind of got familiar with the buttons and there's more to learn but let me just change the color of this red button and i'm going to desaturate it inside photoshop real quick I don't really like the red color it doesn't really fit my canvas so let's just replace this new image with all the previous ones in all the necessary places I'm gonna import this desaturated photo here okay and I'm gonna put it in the file so that you can use it as well okay so let me just do that real quick now we have imported it inside Unreal it's called before and I'm gonna replace this image in all the necessary places in normal, in hovered, in pressed. I need to select this new image and save everything. Let me just make sure that it's placed everywhere. All right, now let's go to the game mode. This time it looks more fitting. Okay, so let's just try it out. Click it a few times. Okay, the start button is ready and let me just change this contemporary style text too I'm gonna uh, make the frame a little bit bigger and then I'm gonna change the font okay let me just change the font to make it slightly larger 
so that it looks better okay that's good maybe 70 okay good all right now that was all for this session we'll learn how to create and install buttons and in the next one we're going to define for unreal engine what should actually happen when somebody presses this start button i'll see you there